Popping Nubu Twana. <laughs> it's your boy SCAI, and we're hanging out on the Bootycast. Another Wednesday, we're here at Leo's Inn, and uh, yeah, man, you're on the local corner YouTube uh, channel where you need to like and subscribe to make sure that you get the dopest BW content ever and the freshest because we keep it coming man you're either getting informed either getting educated or either getting um entertained all right so make sure that you like and subscribe uh to the uh, local corner youtube page uh the images that you just checked out that was a trip that uh, we made out to Mau and uh, something that we've been doing here in Kaboroni, which is called the next level um it's a mentorship program where a bunch of artists and uh, aerosol artists and dancers and MCs from the United States come through for a cultural exchange with a couple of artists and uh, also some participants, Baba Nana, Mobutswana, and uh, they try to come together with certain things to teach each other about the industries that they're all interested in. And so those were some of the images of what's been going on with new uh, with Next Level BW. So I hope you enjoyed it. Those are your future stars, Batswana. So while we talk to our olden stars, we're also trying to cultivate uh, the next ones. And uh, boy, do we have a big one. Uh, this man, Rukopani Mostrate Mo, after my Petra's interview, man, his so rest in peace. And it was like, yo, big homie, I know I got some explaining to do. You know, like how people usually say, well, when I see out, I won't say hello, Ali. We did this take very, no wood did you mala hell. So, uh, every now and then, everyone will come through and set the record straight and, of course, uh, let you know all about what you want to know about them as far as their music career is concerned. Without further ado, this man came out when some of us didn't even know that urban youth music uh, actually existed in BW. Uh, he dropped a couple of tracks with uh, his former group, uh, which was a Ghetto Flavor, that then moved on to Ignition. And then later on, he became a, a brand on his own. And a lot of us remember him for the hit single, Silly Man. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, in the house, Mr. Tag! <laughs> What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Thank you so, so much. GPS, I have to meet you. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. And when you did ask, though, or is this the, the correct GPS? Yeah, How yeah. are you doing, big man? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm great. Great. I just learned something when I was doing some research. Your dad is near my mudubule. I would have never thought. You know, Tag, why haven't you told anyone? Why do we, why do we know this? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> where, did you do, where did you do your research? Everywhere, dog. I'm, I'm him, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, so your dad is Nehemiah? He's, he's my old man. He raised me up to be the man I am today. No doubt, but Yeah. So you know a little bit about opposition politics. You can, you can talk about it now. I mean, the opposition is now the incumbent. So uh, how did you feel growing up being the son of such a, 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 a giant? I mean, yo, man, this is not just a regular politician. We're talking about Nehemiah flipping Mudubule, dog. How yeah. did you feel growing up in the household? Yeah, yeah. No, it was beautiful. It's uh, you know, family is always very complicated. Um, but I'm not going to complicate anything. <laughs> uh, I'll just explain how I grew up. Yes, sir. Um, he raised us up to be, you know, to love what we do. And uh, as far as politics is concerned, we, we you know, we were part of it. Uh, react sometimes react as uh, the opposition, the ruling party, the drama, yalo yalo yalo. Yeah. So we used to do all that. You know, wow. So we, we grew up very close uh, as a family. So when you never felt the need to to be political in any way, because you know a lot of people, it's always like generational, especially with a figure like your dad, because he's, um, I mean, he he was in, in opposition po politics for a very long time. He was actually independent as well, and was the first one to actually take um, the seat from the ruling BDP party. As an independent, yeah. you know what I mean. I know a lot about him. Like he's a big deal, dog. So with someone with that much, 
didn't you feel like okay this is something that could be the family business no i did actually i i i developed some love for for, for it mm. for a short period of time okay. so that I, th- I i thought no i i'm not a public speaker per se yeah so that's the only thing that was you know pushing me away from it okay because the only thing i know how to do is sing yeah. you know express myself through singing that's what i do no doubt and as man. far as standing there and convincing people what it not <laughs> This is the way to go. No, I don't think that's for me. And just my, my, my last political question. Um, it's a new Botswana. It's a new... The opposition is on the other side of the, 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 the government now. They're running things. Um, what do you think? How do you feel about it? Having, you know, seen Botswana in a different light and also having grown up in a, in a, in a political household. I, I'm, I'm happy. Mm. You know, I'm happy because for, for, for some of us, we felt like we were not part of the the system yeah you know, obviously we were not part of it you know yeah. you look at the last name and whatever you try and do they just you we felt like you know they just yeah, yeah, yeah. brushing you off like no don't you know that's a fine name yeah. and it has really messed us up a lot so when things like this happen mm-hmm. you obviously become very happy you know, I'm, I'm 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 happy this happened i feel what now we are part of the system you can do, actually do you feel that people are more inclusive or now people want to then look at your Matabapiris of this world and say, ah, why? Yeah, you guys thought you were having it. <laughs> now it's our turn. Because as much as, like, I know how it feels to be segregated outside, and I also know how it feels, Horebe Lorgaru, you have a surname that's, you know, known with the incumbent party. End up in Nakahore, your success is based on your surname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. People feel that way. Mm-hmm. So do you feel now with this change, people are going to be inclusive? of each other now instead of saying gore ke go segela kwa ka gore gongwe o fana ka masire kana gongwe o fana ka ka masisi well haki haki bwela gra bo ipuelela ha bo elope yeah well that, mm. i i just feel that this is our time you yeah. understand i look at the whole thing i'm like this is our time you know yeah. i think it's time for you guys to just le blo me hanyane let us just enjoy it as well you know yeah. just as much as you guys enjoyed it that, yes, that's just how i feel but but uh on the flip side, I think it's necessary to just understand that we are one people. Yeah. You know, and this is the new government. This is our president. This is, you know. So I think we just we should just embrace change. Yeah. And because I've seen even Modi Show how Yeah. You know, they've been eating Runares Yeah. So I don't think that is, you know, the right way to, to, to do it. Hey, no sense who talk happy. Oh, <laughs> but I, I think we should take it to you now. Yeah. Um, you grew up in Lobate. Yes, I grew up in Lobate. I grew up in Orapa. Okay, so yeah. with Lobate, how did you end up in Orapa? And just take us through the schooling. Where did you go to school? And um, in all of that. Um, before from five years. I right? was. The reason why I came to move to Kolo Hansinzi is because I went to school in Mahalape, where I'm originally from. Okay. Um, and then I went to Serowe. Um, because I was a naughty child. No, 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 so who were you moving around with? What was the family structure? Were you, were your parents moving because of work, or was it just where Naila got to move? Eh, Naila, Kanya move. Eh, eventually I see her to go to Bata. But then I move to Tanagolo Bata. But then I had a cousin in Orapa, or Hule Road. So my auntie felt for no. I, this this guy can't hold a limb for no. Eh, Oka hold a shop because ona ona hold a na le bokai zadi abadi two. Okay. So ena gara ha. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when I moved to Arapa. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Man. So when you get to Arapa, you are in high school. Um, how, how how does the the music bug bite you? I mean, what were you into? Were you into music there, or was it something that you picked up most thing? Because you you started really really early when I can't even remember the type of people that probably influenced you, Mobutana. Mm-hmm. To even be around music, so mm. what got you into music? Well, music is My mother uh, was a music teacher. Yeah. Uh, my auntie was a keyboard player. Oh, 
yeah, she, she had a group called uh, Victory in Christ, so okay. where she would recruit people to come and sing. Mm. Um, but they never really saw anything. This, this boy, guy guy. Yeah. But the music bug was always there because mm. I remember when we, I used to, to, to get like teen, like normal teen. Yeah. And then that sound just got me going. Yeah. You understand? So yeah. I grew up loving music. Um, and then Arago Skolo, Kolobat, we were the first uh, choir. I'm going to say that we were in Africa. We were in Africa. We were in Africa. We were in Africa at the time. So that history was just beautiful. Yeah. Uh, going to Rapa, we were in a little brand. We were in a little brand. Brand on the street, the street, I mean, a house about four blocks away. This is still in high school time. Yes, yes, sir. So half eta, he would always sing. <laughs> you know, he would always sing. Brando was someone who'd sing, yeah. and we knew him as someone who just imitates boys to men most of the time. No, me so I, I try it. This guy can sing. Yeah. So I think he's the first person that inspired me to actually do what I do now. Yeah. Because I loved what he was doing. I just thought he was very talented, and and then how how Mike has similar the talent set she begins similar get to another now. Um, until then, Mike about pick a singer which I don't even know what it was. This is Mike Proctor. Mike Proctor. Yes, sir. Yeah, and and you know, Mike hitting on Adria. None of us are like that. No, there has to be something that he picked up from yeah. you because Brando, for sure, everyone knows Brando. Yeah. You are the more reserved one. Yes. Because again, okay, how do you? Then become into into this group here. Yeah, no a lot of the characters uh, subone, except for maybe you and Cubio, because Q maybe maybe was much more louder. No, he was he was very loud. But actually. now he's much more quieter. So mm. how do you gel with with you know a Cubio, AK, and and Brando? Yeah, well, it's a very strange connection. I'm trying. Very strange. I'm trying to imagine you niggas hanging out now. Well, now it's better. Now, hey. we do, now, now we've grown up, so yeah. we have a lot to talk about. I hey. think then was a problem because you, you see different characters in these kids, but, you know, something brought us together in Eleone Music. And in terms of how we related to each other, I think I was more closer to AK. Hey. Um, QB was just a, a kid, yeah. an annoying kid, and, you know. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's, that's how it was. Brando yeah. was the comedian sometimes yeah. and uh, someone character how way he's quiet he doesn't even want to talk to you yeah how way he wants to talk to you type yeah. of thing so we 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 were just like that i'm i'm trying to get to your name um you guys becoming a group and eventually start doing gigs i want you to paint a picture for us what year was this 1996 96 nigga i was yeah. in standard 6 some people were not, but how old were you at that time, Chef? <laughs> Guys were young. What was the, what was Botswana music industry looking like at that time? Hmm. At the time, I think the only group that was making noise was Trouble Monks. Yeah, Teddy Skizo. Yes, yeah. that was the group that we looked up to and we thought, you know what, one day, yeah. hey, they, they were really doing well. Yes, yes. So that for any artist at that time, what was the goal? Especially in Lebanye, you're all the way on Rapa. You know, I get no I think no one allowed Rapa TV yes, at yes, the time. Yes, yes. So I'm trying to figure out what, what were the ambitions? music. What what was the end goal when I how late what did you think was gonna happen? Koro Rapa was uh, Rapa was different then. Uh, Rapa kids were different. I think Bonella, you thought that Bonella were never born in my American yarn. Yeah. Well, I yeah. Like so yeah. even when they started music, I think in their heads they thought we thought Koro were gonna be Bo Michael Jackson. You're going all the way. Koro were going all the way. Yeah. We knew that you know this is what we do and we're gonna get rich out of this yeah. thing. You know, little did we know what I hey. <laughs> <laughs> this life thing. Yeah, it's gonna be messy. That's crazy. Yeah, but we got in there and we, we we enjoyed it. You know, I think the goal was just to be the best we can be. And uh, if you recall, um, I mean, you you're pretty young yourself, but yeah. but the movement was 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 uh, was great. We wanted to be the best hip hop group at the time. Mm. And uh, knowing Ghetto Flavor was from uh, Francis Town, mm. 
uh, originally. Mm. So we knew how to get a flavor. Mike and I get get flavor, and then he came to Arapa, established get a flavor. So obviously there's a bit of beef there. Mm. And then I was in Malabo, SDP, mm. you know, Lords of the Ghetto. Yeah. And then this side was uh, Third Mind and yeah. Bo Wizards of the Desert. Yeah. So there was some kind of beef that was just brewing there in there. Hey, with the beef here, it was beautiful though. <laughs> no, <he> was, oh, <laughs> why couldn't we just get along? Because I think a lot of the reason why the hip hop guys were not chowing like tribal monks was yeah. pretty much the beefs. I was, yeah, it was the beef. Because that's, I think tribal monks alone, I remember when I started hanging out with Bo Priestley and, and Bo Mudisa from Third Mind. And, and I had a liking for Skizo. Yeah, yeah. But there was always like, we ran go So I didn't know what it's like king from back then. And now I'm going to get Yeah, yeah. You know, Jaya Vita thing. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I was always wondering what, what was so divisive about it and why was it so hard for niggas to like try to get together uh, and, and even do festivals with each other instead of having a South African group come and then maybe taking one of you guys and mm. not taking all of you guys how mm. do you think you guys maybe could have done it differently there what do you think was, you I, I i really don't know i, th I think it's just the, the culture of hip-hop if you think yeah. of it like uh, all the way from america there was always beef you know who can rap better than that's why i don't the battle yeah. i think for me and brando because we're vocal vocalists we didn't really engage much in these beefs yeah even the writing you have a you have ak no not lying it's about sdp who couldn't even rap yeah. Uh, QB Oleno will be saying whatever he's saying. Yeah. So it was nothing. And we're done. You know what I mean? So I think the culture of hip hop in another that thing, that element there, you know, that dislike for each other. No doubt. Yeah. So what made you leave the group? Get a flavor. Yeah. Uh, at the time, we, we, we felt like we were performing. Mm. And we were not getting money. We were not getting paid. You know, um, we were not getting paid. So we just thought, you know what? At this time, were you done with Form 5? Yeah, no, with we, were done, we were done with Form 5. So you we didn't, were done with Form 5. So you didn't have with Form 5. aspirations of going to tertiary? Because I think that we were going to go to tertiary. Hey, but I didn't have to go to tertiary. Hey, I didn't have to go to tertiary. I didn't have to go to tertiary. I didn't have to go to So... <laughs> I want to know since the center way and I hear lots and I had crossroads in here. How did you make your decision? And then we get into how you left. Uh, well, thing. you know, now I just wanted to to do this music thing. I wanna. Uh, I started production early. Oh, okay. You know, when I was still with the with ignition, I think that's when I started the whole production thing, and I saw okay, I have talent. I did. You know, when you start something, you don't even know how you're doing it. Mm. program by the beat, how it's all more to a guy. The melody did say, and then how we did our one or all. I'm actually good at this. And people listen to you like, this is this guy's good. Yeah. So I thought, this is this is my life. This is what I want to do. Yeah. What I wanna. So there was no, I don't feel like you know, I need, I need to go because I want to do this. Yeah. 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 For the other thing, because uh, after Bo my phone five, he like about spending more more than immediately. Yeah. It didn't take me long. Hey, my phone five, I don't know what it is. Wait. Eh. Hey, I had to have a similar like a training. I go mining after training for a year. I be like he hiriwa. Yeah. I be like similar spa. Yeah. But even then, I don't know spa now. Feel our normal. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. I need to do this music thing. You understand? Yeah. That's 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 the passion I had for for, for the music. Yeah. Yeah, no. So while you're doing this, you're raising money for equipment. Definitely. Yeah. That's all it was. So ultimately, you do get your equipment. You have your setup. Mm. You do you record yourself first? But I came later. I get it. Very late, yeah. Very, very later yeah. on. What yeah. were some of the tracks that you know? Think do you think created Mr. Tag? Because I'll tell you what I think about Mr. Tag. Mm -mm. He was the only solo artist who was doing anything outside of Kwasa Kwasa or Kwaito. Yeah, yeah. Which was very risky at the time. It was, you know, it was. because even with Ghetto Flavor, they had the dancers. Mm. Even when Brando moved on and mm. got mm. Greg and then got those other people, mm. Likasto was in there dancing and stuff. Mm, mm. So I'm trying to figure out where now. You, you, nigga, you were trying to sing. I was trying to sing. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you going to sing here, where there's guasa guasa and thing and thing? Why, why, why do you think this is the route for you to go? Man, I just believed in what I was doing. Yeah. I think. That's all it was. Uh, I remember the first uh, 
show we had in earlier uh, I think David Crew. Hey. And I think Brenda was here and then David was performing. Hey. And Mona that was my first solo track. Yeah, man. And then I went in the they introduced me and then at the time, David was big. I think, I think, yeah, yeah, that was the time. When came back, yes, they, yes, the ones yes, who performed they were, they were huge, they yeah. were huge. So I'm waiting to go on stage, then these guys hype up on the local team, but I got to tell you, I got to shoot them out, but I got to perform. Now people know these guys, yeah. so they don't really have time for Mr. Tech, who's that? Yeah. You know, and uh, it was embarrassing, but we, we learn as yeah. we go. We understood, I understood, no, I'm new, yeah. I'm trying to establish myself, so I'm just going to, but then tag, how? So much so that a lot of people, and, and just as an individual, outside of being in a crew, because it was all crews. Yeah, yeah. It was all crews at the time. Hey. It's all crews, and you're here, you're singing your tracks. Mm. How, how, were you, how were they receiving you at the RB1s, the RB2s of this world? Especially being a young guy coming from Orapa, mm. you, you don't have the radio station down the street from you like on Tana block 8 yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. you know so how how were you able to cement yourself as someone who really can deal with you know these guys who are already established as groups and stuff i think for me it was like um ke ho establish about unique attractions and root boys okay when i started doing the whole production now for the other crews for the other crews yeah i've never really been Type mm -hmm. of thing. I've never, re I've always been here. You know, you know, rocket. Mr. Tag is there. Consistency. Yeah, yeah. So after unique attractions, obviously now people start asking questions. Or who's this? Who's 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 doing this for you? Mm -hmm. And then came Mr. Tag. So that Mr. Tag name grew uh, as a producer. And uh, for a lot of people, then they thought what Mr. Tag at the time. You understand? Yeah. But I was just a kid. I think even as a manager, I was managing but while Hey, they were your age mates. They were, they were, no, they were age mates, you know, yeah. but but people thought oh, no came to and you know all of that. But we're really the same age. So I think that's what pushed the name to be what 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 it became. So you guys dropped um Barata Helele first. Oh no, which no, one no, was, was the first it was, one? It was Matsale and Holikan. Matsale and Holikan. Yes. So now as a producer, um how did you get these girls? And how did you get them confident enough to be out there? Like, I remember meeting them on tour, uh, Nerira Zalobana, mm. um, with Maxi and V. We were all really young. I think this is like about 2002, 2000. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, they already had that, sh that shit together. Mm. You could tell what they were well managed and all of that stuff. Yeah. How were you able to... Emilio, you were not even on the tour. Yeah, yeah no, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, how did you manage to assert yourself as a manager and also as a producer of other talent? Man. And how did you prep yourself to become that nigga at that age? I, I didn't. I just it just happened. Yeah. You know, it was just happening. I think that's why that's why I wanna do it in what I do It was just you're doing it out of love, yeah. you know, and it wasn't, you're not looking at money at the time. Yes, sir. We did what we did and we we're hoping for the best. And uh, eventually some people came in to assist with the whole management thing. Mm -hmm. I remember my cousin Comfort came in, he wanted to, to, to assist with, with managing the group. Okay. Um, that's why Uno Sampona go that show because Comfort was actually now managing the group itself. Okay. So now I remained the producer. Okay. You know. All right. Yeah. And then... How many other crews did you did you manage to like, um, um, uh, you know, put out? You put out unique attractions mm. and root boys, root boys, root boys, yeah. and then uh, Libo Mami, and then Divine, Divine. Yeah, that was later on when I guess unique attractions. But that we to the How mm. how did you guys like? Did they break up or what happened with that crew? Because they were the Destiny's Child, nigga. <laughs> I remember I was waiting on another album. And then out of nowhere, I think uh, Lily was now at UB. Yeah. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah. And it was the other two girls, GL and GC, who were also performing sometimes. Mm, so mm, um, mm. what happened with Unique Attractions? And I think this could be our trailer. Yeah. <laughs> what unique, happened with Unique? Unique, unique Attractions. Um, yeah, tell the whole story. Don't. Yeah, don't yeah, yeah. Bye, Deba, Hola, and then 
Haretha mo Khaboroni. Obviously, from Warapa to Khaboroni, you're going to meet a lot of different people that will tell you, no, you, you can do better. Yeah. I, I guess in terms of management, because it wasn't really about the production. Yeah, the it was, the it was now, um, you know, management. Remember the first time, but uh, the first time I was in the first was Bo Franco. I was in the first time. So from the tour, yeah, Franco, that's when these guys came back in Chile. You know, we think we are bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, but they didn't they didn't really say it, you could see it. Yeah, yeah. And then showing we are in the LA UN, never the UN. From there, I guess that's when they, they really thought, you know, we're bigger than this guy, we can't really be with him. But mm-hmm. he's not on the same level, Leruna. I get it. So now these guys come sit down, let's talk about this. I mean mm-hmm. we don't understand what the breakup is about. Uh, why you guys want to leave? Mm-hmm. Uh, that was the time because no Hurlisa Matelo. So they thought, well, no, I'm trying to compete with them mm-hmm. by, by by releasing an album. Mm-hmm. So this guy should not be releasing an album. So but now he's trying to compete with us. Yeah. I'm like, how do I compete with you? I write all your songs. I sing all your songs. You see, this is now now. Um, the way I do this thing is it's very simple. I write yeah. songs, I sing the songs, and yeah. then you sing what I've sang. Yes, sir. So I don't write and give you to come up with a melody. Yeah. I come up with that. Yes, sir. So for you to say you are bigger than me or I'm trying to compete with you is an insult. Yes, sir. I formed the group Unique Attractions. You didn't come up with the name, nothing. It's yes, my name. I came up with it. Yeah. The music is also mine. Yeah. So how are we fighting? And why are we fighting about this? You understand? So I think Mohobo and they were bigger. Um... Like I said, I'm two years older than these guys. So yeah. I was also trying to establish myself. Yeah. It wasn't Hore Nam already established in Geja Chalet Yeah. It wasn't that. But outside it seemed that way. Horno Oja Madiaba na Ahi. I long horadi. That's why I could go back and look at Mike Procter and say, Yeah, Baba no Jose. No, was was cool. hey, you understand? Was the... Yeah, he hey. was trying his best. Yeah. He was trying to build something, but we didn't see that way. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. when you are involved directly now, uba na kore esas, hoa sor mariati. Yeah. Um, kono uba na kore. Happy lo kone lalor mariati. I'm. I think I'm also entitled to the money. Yes, sir. But they felt like no. You know what I mean. So that's how complicated it was. <laughs> Who got in that ear? Where now, as far as you're concerned, because okay, they do go on the on the tour with Big Homie, mm. with Frank. Do you think he offered them a deal? Or I believe he did. Yeah. Yeah, I believe he did. Um. Unique Attractions was a threat to, to everyone mm. at the time. Uh, so bringing them closer to, to, to them Cam. would work for them. Yeah. Or, you know, so I think, I think they did that. But what is it with artists though? Hey, can I press you? I was saying, 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 I So I always wonder, what would you say to musicians who are in a good place, but then they think oh, the grass is greener on the other side, and then they don't focus on working on the relationship, or if they feel they have a problem with their manager, they at least resolve it, instead of thinking, oh, you know, yeah. how, how do you fix that bug? Because it's, it's murdered a lot of careers. I saw them, they were my friends. Uh, you know, mm. I still consider them friends yeah, when yeah, I see yeah, them yeah. every single time. Mm. And I believe that was one of their worst mistakes. Yeah, yeah. Because they never, even even for for their, their, their characters, their personalities, mm. they're completely different. So I don't even think they would have been friends no. if it wasn't for you. No, no, no. Because they're so different. So They're so different. I mean, touring and Hasimon La Goreta. How do you tell it? Even for the younger musicians of today, mm. what should they be looking at when people start telling them, Horio, where you are is bullshit, come over to the side? Because nine times, ta- well, Seven times out of ten, it never ends it well. Ne- it never ends well. It never ends well. Kya kanya la ko na why si mo mo long hell. I wanna you know where you're from. You know who started you. You know that the recipe lies with that person. You know anyone who comes and tries to convince me otherwise, tota alex onzo ruke na kani. Hore okay, how you understand? But unfortunately, people really don't think much about these things. Like you're saying, they were never friends. Yeah. 
I think the only friends there was GC and Smalls. Those, yeah. were, those were good friends. Yeah, yeah. Lily, because on Aleko UB, yeah. they started treating her differently. After. I saw that. Yes. <laughs> and then GL, GL was closest to me yeah. at, at the time. Yeah. Um, and they are But obviously, because Babata are in a group, yeah. obviously now GL and all will lean towards them a little bit. Yeah. Though I'm not going but we're making a mistake. Marasa Khono Hore, I can raise her voice. You understand? Yeah, but Lily was cool. Lily has yeah. always been cool. Has yeah. always been very reasonable. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm still working with Haven today. So. So you think it's education? Yeah. I think it is. <laughs> I think it is. I forget how to do that. I get to get that. I get to go to school. Go important. Never fail. Because you get to reason a little bit. I think a lot of of things. You know, someone and I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this, but someone said, "Or both men really act on emotion more than they act on fact." Mm. You know, so. Mm. Oh, sometimes it's a mixture of both fact mm. and emotion. Mm. And like Ubuwa, mm. reasonably, they could have done a different thing. But because of emotions and like, or like whatever it could have been, and other people in that year. I'm, I'm really sad. Like, I would. So you think there could never be a, a, a song ever in the future where we have all members no, I, and then you, you know, produced by Mr. Tag? I, I, mean, I think it's a, it's a very high possibility. I think um, they've grown, mm. you know, and. and, and that would be a very nice thing to do. Yes, sir. Just one last song. Ruto mm. Rea Sandaya. Though music has changed, really. Yeah. You know, and, and the better singers out there, Violin Goro, we put At the time, how would you produce it? Would you say no, the producer. Because mm. those artists on Amazon, compared to the singers today, mm. you, 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 you wonder. I, 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 I disagree. <laughs> I, I, I remember your production very, very well. Mm. What could be different, maybe, is the workstation. I mean, couple you're working with Tito. Right now, mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. You just yeah, teach yeah, him, yeah. Because I think sonically, what you were able to do with analog, dog, you were playing all that shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 right now, all you have to do is play a loop mm. and then repeat it. Think about other things. You know what I mean. But mm -hmm. because you were playing it, I think it gave more emotion to to the keys. Yes. Because that that's all niggas do nowadays. Chop and screw. Mm, Chop mm, and then mm, mm, mm. there's no feel. There's no feel. So yeah. I think when you have a song like Bonobo Marta Helele and all these tracks, but listen to Mel right now if it jumps right now. Mm. Niggas are gonna go nuts. Yeah, true. Because of the emotion that comes with yeah. playing the music. So I think if there's ways of approaching this thing. I think a song by them right now, I think it would go a long way. It would go a long way. I wanna talk about real deal records. Isimulu mm. Telinion, did it start with the release of Unique Attractions? It started uh, Unique Attractions and Root Boys. Root Boys in Ronald Mamorion. In Ice. Oh, Mr. Ice! Mr. Ice, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Very talented, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm a Yeah, I know. Hey, Ice. Oh, catch a little dread. I'm one of a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back and forth. Yeah, he's my bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Who can like a group? Le Twiz. Le Twiz. Yeah, Mr. Ice. Twiz and Ice. Twiz and Ice. Yeah, yeah. You don't remember it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so you discovered my nigga? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. So I saw so kaka like a dude. I saw so kaka. I saw so kaka. So what, what, what happened with them? I think because of the... I agree. Remember the album, Ya yeah, Kenako? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In LA, Unique Attractions and Root Boys. Okay. So they took up hands. Unfortunately, Unique Attractions is a big blower. Okay. He he gets Root Boys. They don't have to focus on the guy. Unique mm -hmm. attractions. Yeah. So even even how 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 did the show? Root boys would be there doing that thing, but no, no, how we listen. Mm. Uh, so unique attractions. You know, be be palam. So run a full cassette and that unique attractions. How expensive is it to manage uh, or to have a female group? Because I think people underestimate that as well. Yes. Hore. Yes. Clothes. Yeah. Makeup. All of that. <laughs> emotions everything <laughs> <laughs> so you know would you do it again like find another group uh, and and work with no okay nigga get like a because but what to run a no. group like that yeah, huh? yeah. so Too real much. deal you root boy so divine on it does it come in after you've parted ways with unique attractions because a lot of people who were looking in from the outside said they were the replacement no they were the replacement their unique attractions i really love how remember you are yeah no i have to be honest about it. They were <laughs> yeah, no, they were yes yeah no they were because we felt i felt horror no these people yeah 
I know that I know this. I know what I created, you know, and and I wanted to keep it, but they had other plans. Yeah. So, group yeah. So unique attractions I know. So I love it. I remember the time niggas niggas panel led dog. Yeah. Very busy and horrible. I repeat the show. Get the album in my unique attractions because GL was also done with the other two. Yeah. Or no, I, I want nothing to do with them. Yeah. But I still want to go on unique attraction so we tried that and it didn't work with sugar fisher Sh- yeah sugar yeah. fisher is a singer yeah you know you 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 the whole fisher family man. yeah they are singers yeah, yeah. so now i had to sing Le sugar fisher mother when you a very unique attractions yeah. so now you see how mili messed, vanilli. you see how messed up it is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the songs were good hey, but, but people didn't didn't really they don't receive, buy it no they, they wouldn't but no one only lead the other smalls kind of sometimes was it smalls who was leading or was it gl Okay. In the old ones. In the old one was Lily and, was and Smalls. Lily. Yeah. So Lily. they were they were looking for that voice, maybe. They were looking for those two voices. Those two voices. The squeaking and a little voice. Yeah. That's yeah. what they were looking for. Yeah. So now you come up with with both sugar fish. Yeah. Like no, this is things. and she sings. Mm. They say, nah, this is not unique attractions. The songs are nice, mm. but this is not unique attractions. So that's when every talk like a unique attractions. Yeah. Mm. Uh, fortunately, at the time, Tuli was was closer to. Uh, unique in hey. terms of maybe choreographing sometimes there and there hey. and then we thought okay you know you can dance you you you, you know you can sing yeah. so let's try let's try and see what we can build yeah. that's when everybody recruited my mommy and the miki came together yeah. and we created a divine okay and it was it was a banger no your net popped off yeah, no, and plus did. i think a lot of people like i said it was another unique concept yeah. that you originated because i'm telling you which all girl, girl group has ever popped off like unique attractions and unique attractions and divine and mm, one? Mm. Uh, maybe maybe brown sugar. Oh, the good thing. Mm. Um, okay, maybe brown sugar. Yeah, I think brown but it was brown sugar before. Before, yeah. Yeah, but body of work. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Oh, Top three, I'd put those three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. but I definitely go unique attractions number one mm. because they taught the country. Yeah, yeah, they did. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Brown Sugar, I don't know if they even went as far as Francis Town. Uh, I don't know about like how far they went. Yeah. Divine Ilona was able to like and we've never had like girl groups. Do we have girl groups? Can you think of girl groups? I can't think of one girl group because like even when they came out mm. it was unique in its own way you know mm. never mind the pun mm. so you knew the formula would work yeah hey, so that's yeah. why you, you put all your ducks in there so you guys release how many albums as with Divine with Divine no, it was only one album mm. um, same thing happened to Divine <laughs> 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 Frank <laughs> so from the tour Miki, the lead singer, mm. wants out. You remember me, Mister? Okay, no. I, I, uh, <laughs> I think we saw her at a funeral once. Yeah. So, yeah, we, that's... That's so what happened. Robert, she wants to sing for herself now. No, no, she, she wanted she wanted to, to, to go solo. Uh, yeah. But where she got the whole... Idea. Idea. <laughs> it lay after the tour. So, I'm like, hey, Wanda, this is serious. Um, Happy so, deja vu. I've seen this before. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But Divine was was actually uh, working well because remember Divine Ila Berkalebo the late Mapeta. Hey, yeah. Um, and we carried Divine as as the whole real deal crew, mm. like uh, like our baby, and we wanted to protect Divine yeah. with everything. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, I had a friend called Jabsa. Taboha job but that the sponsor for Divine. Everyone was working. Yeah. But Comfort were also in there trying their best to make sure that the group stays together. Because we're trying to avoid that uh, whole same mistake. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately after the tour, uh, the lead singer went out and I asked Noho Chaver, okay, uh go blind. What do we do? Stay with the other two. Stay with the other two. But eventually it wasn't working. You know what I mean? That's when uh Tuli was born mm. and Mapeta. Was it because you were dating Tuli? Because the, the thing about it is that once the manager or the, pro, the producer is involved with one of the artists, there is always going to be drama. 
Because we heard from a little birdie uh. that you and, and Tuli had a liking for each other. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to confirm that. What, mm. Were you involved with Tuli and do you think that could have been part of the reason why the breakup probably happened? No, 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 no. no it wasn't that. I, uh, Tuli was always there from, from unique attractions. We, yeah. we grew up together, Gorapa. Okay. We came to Abrone together. So yeah. she was always there. Yeah. You know, doing Arida Divine, we were just hoping that the group will always be there. Yeah. Yeah, so I began, okay, no, let's go this route now. But you're ducking the whole, the, the relationship thing. No, the relationship was there. Hey. That's why I'm saying, Hore, it started way back. <laughs> hey, <laughs> beforehand. So niggas knew. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like it was something that started in, 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 in the crew. Because even talking about my Peter's story, uh. it started, he, he did mention that, Hore, you know, because of your, I guess, the relationship that you had with yeah, my mister, yeah. it started looking like, you know, it, it there were personal things that were being spoken mm. that affected the business as well. Mm. So I don't know if that was also the case with uh, Divine, which mm. is why I'm trying to figure that out before we get into nah. the better story. Nah, nah, it, it was never that. It was never that because I think she, she was there. She built what, what, how, how, how I guess established a real deal records. She was yeah. a part of the real deal records yeah. a company. You know, yeah. we we had a vision together to say, no, this is what we're building together. Yes, so it wasn't really. Um, anything like that. I'm shocked you guys didn't get married. I know you're married now, and yeah. I'm sure she's got a fiancé right now. I know. I'm, I'm, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm fucking sorry, okay? But, like, I, a lot of us sat there and thought you guys were going to get married. Yeah. You don't want to tell us what happened? I mean, it's in the past. It's long, 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 long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the past. What what happened? <laughs> like... You can't, you can't. We were all, we would read every newspaper on The Voice. Uh, you know, mommy's my cousin, so I'm always, mm. I was always asking her, like, oh, when, uh, yeah, no. when, are, when are they getting it done? Uh, How did you, what happened? Oh, what happened? I, 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 2005, 6, I, I, I relocated. You know, I think the, the distance also played a part in the whole. Had you in, put an engagement ring? On? Yeah. Were you intending on getting married or was it just a rumor that was on the voice? No, the no, I, I, I was intending. Yeah, that was the. the Why no survival one of Gujus? Hey, Brahak, oh, I was hustling. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You're going, you're going to hustle and, and obviously, you know, I'm going to South Africa and I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say, you know, the brave heart. Yeah, you know, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say, no doubt. You understand? I think if I if you. if Nigel Shapu hunga hunga le sengo so yangu sidira. Hey. Stability nyana. Hey. How quite some man? How quite some man? I know. Hey, so na Nigel so le quite some man. I needed to ask this question for a lot of reasons because some te- some people are gonna be like, come on, man. It's because of him and Tuli being together that a lot of this stuff started tickling down because ba ba buwa um hatiki. Ibile, let me ask you this, mm. you know, make some business and pleasure. Let's say they are running a business with someone that you're close with. Would you ever do it again? No. Yeah. I'm currently doing it. Yeah, I, I'm also doing it. Yeah, no, 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 knowing what I know now, I would not do it. Oof. Happy. Hey, <laughs> I know it's a bit controversial, but listen to what I'm saying. Well, tell me. <laughs> knowing what I know. I'm in, business, I'm, I'm in business with my wife now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's why what I know what I know now. I would, I would, I would never, You'd never do I would it. never ever do it. I want to call you. Listen, uh, uh, I know what she's going to kill me, but, but I. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> how come I can't do it? You wouldn't do it. Nah. So no, no. it doesn't work. Ah. I want to talk more about that, but like, uh, let's just get back to mm. the real deal yeah, records. Yeah. Um, you and, and Petas, um, mm. how do you guys come together and, um, you know, uh, form real deal? I know we've moved a little bit yeah, yeah. further on, mm. but you can take it all the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you first meet Mapeta? Mapeta came to me in uh, 2004, Kinnaku Block 6. Uh, I remember we had a small you know, gathering. We did a little artist after show. We had a little bit of a 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 show. So that was, that was our thing. Yeah. So he knew that, okay, Mr. Tegu, I'm going to block six. I'm going to check. 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 I'm I remember them mm. very well. So I was in a jar and pizza and tari, my daddy three wow about a content. Oh, your little bro. Yeah. Yeah. A gay tra. So, you know, I grew up about Twitter, but I go and I go to my bite or my, you feel like you're so big and 
look down upon them like <laughs> <laughs> they come there you like with well, that what yeah no and record deal we can we can rap we, we do quite though no I get quite though yeah. I do afro pop yeah so like a va <laughs> oh uh, you turn around eva va how about some i lord on the way the way out mm. oh what the reason i get a girl eh about kimura ke roba tla ira sharp sharp but no anything yeah. anything as long as in ka we get okay i'm kidra a boy group called no exit mm. no exit in elj jr in elz x mm. no two at the time yeah so we get okay maybe if we can have a third member mm. then, then that will complete yeah e be ke motsenya mo no exit Mm-hmm. So he starts rehearsing with the guys every day. By Twitter go pela ba pela to to ba pela could sing. Yeah. You know then I was is bale sharp we were record. Go go like we never released that album. Yeah. And then from there when Erum feature Mobo Divine because he was a very good dancer. He was a traditional dancer yeah. that boy. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh Haris is removed out from removed out to Netgam G West. Yeah. Ke go na be decide go okay we're going to try i'm going to try this quite to thing yeah i started programming uh scock yeah which is part of the reason why i really wanted to do this yeah. because I've, <laughs> i've heard so many stories yes sir i've watched people uh, ah anyway no go for it just break it hey. down for us bro okay now wanna go to i remember when he came in here and then for a scock we produced to get man sent sent i'm like oh gavor scock how but uh you know i i i i wanted to confront him i said no but that's not the way i remember some guys said no but why is this guy doing this mm. i got i know you know what let me let me squash it yeah let me move i know what i did yeah. so I, i i can't go around kelwela yeah. sexy dirle so i programmed scock influence ke coolio i'll see you when, see you, you, when you get there yeah, yeah. So that's how we started the whole album. Re shapa re shapa wa tsenya a ikwala e be a ba recorder e be release. I think that's the time when my beat like the name came it blew up. Yeah. yeah. That's that's when we started. Now we're figuring out who be chaba. You go in as Tabo yeah. but there's already TJB. Yeah, oh, so we're not going to go that that route. Let's yeah. look for a name. He came up with the my beat name. Mm. And then, you know, um uh, Scock was released. Yeah. Damn. So when the song catches fire mm. how did you guys know that shit this is something brilliant here we are holding on to you know and we need to do something more to get this young man out there because Skoko came through man yeah 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 and no one had ever seen anything like it Mampizile no was stressed there because <laughs> he wanted to sing Kwaito but then he saw that um Afro was was making dope yeah. but here is this nigga yeah. doing it yeah, and it sounded so dope so Um how, how, when you guys how, when did you guys realize that yo we have a problem on our hands here we we would play songs you know in a studio you're always playing tracks eh. and guys come in balong ba tlo recorder yeah i think lebo ne bo 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 man piece they came through and you you could tell or no you have something you have something because beautiful. they felt it yeah you know they would tell you straight or here o sore o sore bo mo yeah and uh ha vi ya go ay go launch that album he did in south africa Yeah, yeah, Cassie Angels. Le, yeah, that yeah, produce yeah, Agu. Yeah, ah, Cassie Angels. I think you are. Eh. Yeah. No, Cassie Angels again, yeah, 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 I'll hey, confirm hey, it. Yeah. Hey. Ah, I really busy. I really busy. I think I'm busy and and goofy. Really busy uh, or? Hey, hey, hey. Really. I So when they came back from from doing that one, yeah. So I ba launch a re kopa gore re re tla re promote I think that's the time we saw gore no this is something big. Mm. So I remember Eric came and he wanted to talk to us. Yeah. It was me and Kenny at the time. Kenny was a UK and then he came we joined forces. Okay. Uh because Kenny was a childhood friend from okay. Lobatsi we never done a school road. Okay. So as a UK gore ra batla go na specific or no let's team up and see what we can do. Yeah. So I really gore ra be decide then gore okay when manager my beta na ke ta manager tuli. Eh. Eh because abom sa bona di jena kwele wae. So I ra go pa performance nyana After the performance that's when a lot of people came to us ba ba batla gore 
rebu business mm. you know i mean to a point where eric ramko wants to talk to you i mean that was big yeah you're that's like huge. hey eric yeah, man. wants this yeah ah we have gold here yeah <laughs> you know, and we're not letting it go yes sir we are rebu said eh eh we're like khudi setsa mfano ha ala ha rona we're not signing him to anyone yes sir so we made that decision or no we're like khudi sa one so that he can develop yeah um so i don't know if in this scenario mm. what was the the agreement with you Kenny and him like what type of arrangement was it and was any of it documented and because a lot of us even to this day mm. we are not signing contracts you know what i mean mm. um all of it we believe kamolo muhela and we we keep going mm. was that the situation uh, with you guys or did you guys really really trust that you guys were in it together but no, was no, there no, i think i think for me i was always a very naive person yeah. i didn't think there was anything wrong with uh, us talking and agreeing yes sir kamulo yes so i thought we were cool like that you understand mm. like okay tabo you know me you mm. know what i discovered you you know our struggles together like i'm not worried mm. i'm not worried for ukana wa siale and whatever i didn't think that yeah um so there was nothing documented it was just a gentleman's agreement yeah you do that i'll do this but we're building one empire at the end of the day yeah so that that was my vision it wasn't mm. kenny's vision yeah. it wasn't mapetla's vision mm. uh, so the mistake was thinking that everyone is thinking so the same thing shit yeah i the only contract that i signed here he goes again inserting him in the story i'm inserting myself in the story <laughs> the only contract that i think i've signed really was with uh, breakthrough records mm. because i was a bit older at the time as well mm. and eric and and Wudisa didn't trust me because you know they know i knew my way around town mm -mm. and so i don't really blame you yeah Jorge, you guys didn't sign a contract because this is your little bro he lives yeah, yeah. down the street this is your home no, he stayed with me he stayed you know, with we, you yeah he stayed with me that that's my homie from lob yeah yeah Come so you're not worried. You are not worried yeah, at all. Yeah, you're not worried. So when did the cracks start uh, showing themselves? Because now you guys, you had found a way to make money. Now was yeah. he making money on shows uh, with Coco, or did he wait for a second single? No, he was making money with yeah. Coco. He was making money with Coco. I, I think the problem had better when more more than some more detail. Can I go not nearly break a money shop? For a young Hoberka, but we knew that okay, real deal records is supposed to get a certain percentage from your shows. Yeah and um from the sales because to thailand you can get liberty to tell us um an idea because some people hold the contract and i i remember 15 percent for sales uh i remember well for performances the the label probably would get between 20 20 over 15. yeah yeah, 15 yeah the label will get less yeah money show. but it's about covering the expenses of the label haven't done the project yes well, yes. because yeah. it's not for free the yes. producers need to get paid well, the engineer needs to get yeah. paid so yeah. the quickest way to get to being even is given some of the show money because that's where if the sales are not yeah, coming yeah, correct yeah, yeah. yeah so i think the cracks it is lela from the fact that na as 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 manager our real deal records i did not treat this these guys like superstars <laughs> i didn't like rago show you perform we get inside the combi we go back yeah i want to more thing ga chila nyana 2 minutes ke bone ba type of thing i didn't allow that yeah they didn't like that about me ne ba mbisa faro all of them they just felt horror this guy is just too much so when kenny came or the dynamo to guy because i think he was also star struck yeah kabo mapetla and all that yeah. and he he related well with him than na yeah. and they became closer i think let na happen go na le dipos obviously is a negira as a person um and kenny was a professional mm. he did things dif a little different from from the 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 way i would do them you know what i mean because yeah because i'm trying to get to it these are both everyone is here because of your hands yeah everyone is here because you produce the music you help make some of the choruses you help make the star mm. and then you brought your mans in you know mm. what i mean mm. pause mm. so how do you blame yourself for any of it where, where do you think because sometimes i've been fired a lot so i always look back what everyone can be wrong yeah you know somehow I have done something of course, definitely, here. Yeah. So, do you ever sit back and say, "All right, cool. This is where I made the mistake." I think I I think I made a lot of mistakes. Tell me. Um but nobody tuta one ha na for about three day and the 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 group the the most abone because in a creative space, mm. it's not like HR to or ha na very yo tag. You need to stop doing this. It's also 
it also it flows and it goes over time mm. Mm. or whatever so mm. Mm. i don't know if you can highlight some examples of things that you think you could have done differently you know yeah first i think the, the whole contract thing is very important you should in have any signed business contract. yeah in any business yes, sir. it's very important to yeah. have those sign things. contracts guys yeah how can go what's an hour to get it's a business there's there's a lot of things that happened uh i remember even the guys that i used to work with. and i started i told you that uh, i was very naive mm. um there was a show we wanted to do um let us have forgot now i had boys obviously by the way Never and come back. Mm. So okay, we need money. Uh, obviously, we have to pay Arthur. Ma forgot the money. Mm. Uh, Bulldog was 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 running the show at the time. You remember uh, the late Bulldog? Yeah. Yeah. I give this guy's money. Okay, land seven thousand. No, my dear, not short. This guy, which is the book, at the time I think it was around about twenty-five, mm. and I was the only one working at the time, so yeah. I had the financial muscle to do something. No man, I read my dika machunis. That was the first time he saw my chupun machunis. I got away. Oh, my teacher. So I just said, "I'm worried." Read him, you know. I take this money. I give these boys. Sorry, young kuduera, but I thought I forgot. First mistake, and I remember that mistake, and I will remember it until I leave this this world. Yeah. Uh, and then they went. Haba boa. About Sarah Contrak, so it's just word of mouth. Mm. No, never mm. more labo, and then Contrak I be 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 like eh. What are you doing with the contract in the club? Yeah, so that but that, that's the story they sold, hey, and, yeah. and I bought that. <laughs> you know, I bought that. I'm yeah, I'm sorry, I, I know it's, it's yeah, a little stupid, oh but Lord. but <laughs> hey, I bought about. that. So now, can I go ahead? I thought I forgot their art. Nagi busy guy advertiser, more guy madi gira gira gira. I wanna ask him about the hotel, and they knew that. They just let you keep going. They just let me keep going and doing all sorts of things until the last day. Hotel no, but I got a manager. I got a Arabic fool. Now the jumper, Kora Nagi jumper, manager. I've never been spoken to the manager. I'm talking to my boy. You guys don't have a connection. You can't do that. Yeah. And uh, the reason why I'm bringing it up, yeah. just to show you the mistakes they don't want to like from the start. Yes, sir. Now, obviously, now how I establish a record company, you have artists. Yeah. I don't want to make no. By George, get no producer in this thing. By George, this is mine. The show, it's our kind, it's our kind. The sales, it's our kind, it's our kind. But that doesn't work that way. Yeah. Even when Kenny came, there was supposed to be a contract in place, mm. but there was nothing. You know, as no, we boys, this is what we're doing. You know, hmm. so I can now feel like I'm okay. Now, Keshapo, he decides to leave, hmm. and when he leaves, he takes the artists with him. By long or by ira kwai. At the time, it was at the time it was Mapeta, P Meg, Gavor. Those hmm. were the guys by long or Skazo. Yes, Skazo. Uh, they left with Kenny to establish Extremix Records. Yeah. yeah. They leave Real Deal with, you know, nothing. Yeah. With only Tuli. Yeah. And that's that we you know came along with our recordings and all yeah. of that. So yeah. I had to deal with all of these things. You understand? Yeah. I'm not saying Horhaba Hagenadi Pos. So I didn't see because I think I also didn't know how to treat them well, I guess. At the time I was I was I was a tyrant yeah. in a way. That's the word I'll use. No, 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 too much. It was just too much. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 that's commendable. I yeah. mean, you know, if you if you see or you could have done things yeah. differently, but yeah. what 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 do you think it was? But you trying to protect them from the outside world because you knew what you had. That was my thinking. That's that's. You thought you were that's, protecting. I was them. protecting them. I'm protecting them. You know, I don't want them to. Yeah, I'm protecting, but mm. I was just destroying because you know it's. Uh, Dog. Yeah, no. Yeah. Where you you smother your kid trying to protect them until they can't breathe. Yeah, yeah. Underneath and I, then I, you learn that as you grow. Like, right now you have kids and you know, Rock, yeah. I cannot do this. Yeah. You know, my wife tells me, no, you cannot do. Don't do that. Mm. You know, how we run now, how we listen to, but now if you don't, so you protect them. How about school? So you make sure you're working on the bone all the way until they get there. But yeah, I think in a way you are killing them because yeah. uh, I don't think that's the way to do it. They call it smothering, yeah. and uh, I can I can imagine my so. Let's talk about Kenny. Yeah. This relationship that you have with Kenny Mackenzo, why do you think he dogged you? 
<laughs> I think I was also a nightmare to deal with. To work with. <laughs> so it's all your fault. These niggas are not getting any blame for this shit. They did it. They did it. Yeah, but I also I also contributed to 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 the problems that. Yeah, you know, but you can talk to me and tell me, yo, instead of taking my shit. You can't take everything that I built and then you, know, you go you and know set what? up something over there. What we established? What we did in With my shit. With with your. No, you can come here and take I, my, my my pod and take my ideas and take my boys with you, and then I'm gonna be. But that's cool what people that. do. And then I say, no, it was my fault. Nah. No, that's what people do. Nah. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. I get a Kenyan. Obviously, Kenyan with Liana plan. Yeah. I get. Ya hore ya hodi raya na hagetsa na kubotu ana geo kopana. Let Teg already he knew that Teg is doing this. He would tell me that I used to read, I would read newspapers about you online. This guy is killing. So he knew. But it's I not his that. core business, dog. Yeah. He has a job. He has things that he does. This mm. is your core business. This is your your property. Yeah. You understand what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so I'm I, trying I to understand you. psyche of someone who has something going for them, mm. sees that you have this thing that you've built with your blood, sweat, and tears, yes. and takes it. Yeah. Different perceptions. You know, we look at things differently. I think he had something in mind. He wanted to establish his own thing. and yeah. Which is okay for him. I yeah. look at it, I'm like, okay, that was selfish. I guess I can look at it yeah. and just say that was selfish. Yes, but yeah. maybe if I, if I had done things differently, yeah. especially when it comes to music yeah. i don't think ne ke gona re tsa motho but try to do it this way yeah. it was my way or the highway mm -hmm. some people don't like that kind of approach so how ngoku ba ba thosa itsoro ba ko ba ba ko ba ka the way o leng ka teng wena ka di o di nyana nyana how did you come to this realization ye leng gore I think a lot of us really need to go and check out your psychiatrist wherever you in Uruguay because you are calm. <laughs> you are very calm and you are not blaming anyone, which is commendable. I'm not trying to get you to blame anyone, mm. but from the outside looking in, it just looks devious. No, and it does. It looks it does. like it was um, it was intentional and it was meant to, you know, to leave you in a state where you couldn't do anything at all. So I can't imagine you being able to bring people into your world, into your business. And then they think, oh, we are this monster. Clearly, you're not a monster because you let niggas in. Yeah, I, I, you know what? And you taught them and you put them on game. Yeah. Game that you have been studying since the 90s, dog. Yeah. Niggas came and took that and then bounced off with that shit. <laughs> and then went and, and, and made a whole legacy for themselves and tried to erase you out of the story. Yeah. And literally. That's what they did. So I'm trying to figure out, Honorary, how are you going to look at that as all your fault? But, you know. I've always had um, these kind of things happen throughout my career. Yeah. In 2005, I was recording a album that I was a producer called Gossi Dumako. Now, at the time, I was a manager of what I call a brother-in-law because he's married to my cousin. Yeah. So we go, we record, and we go, and we go, and we go, and we go, more, more, more students have prosper. Yeah, yeah prosper. I, th I think at the time. Why So I get. Get her a horror. About I want this kid. Damn, they're right. talking about a million. What? Yes, I want this kid. So the lady who was doing backing vocals, on another number, I have my manager. I knew my brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. So I have the manager's number. Uh, I'm late. I'm mm. late. I'm late. His interest is more now. Yeah. I want to work with this kid, this Mr. Tech guy. And uh, he just said to him, Don't touch that guy, he's a drug dealer. What the fuck? Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what what does he get from what, what why does he get from doing See, that? I'll never know. I'll never know. That's why what I get. sometimes you blame yourself because you don't really know how people think and what they want to accomplish. Mm. What well, their plan is. Not, is. Not oh, it was Kanyimbao. Oh, it was was Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So, Jan, what, why do you think that this that hatred for you is it because of no yagao? What is that? Yeah, that's all it is. That's all it can be. What else can it be? So the same yeah. thing. The same thing happened. The, the, I heard the story. Got got 2009. Yeah. Start 2005. Kiko panale this lady go cross start. Go negenati. Rabu arkana wana yo sabus have made it long time ago. Elogore prior that we had recorded an album. Same manager. Mm. Uh, Renamo South Africa. Kin nale. Now we record the, the album Guy Coco Start still. Mm. I write all the 14 tracks. Mm. Done. Now Rahwe Mfana is signed under Universal. So we knew that okay, Harry's album is mm. straight to Universal. Yeah. So the intention was to build a group Elonhore Tansa Malaika Mostilo because uh, mm. Malaika, yes. Yeah. Malaika was just too big. And yeah. we wanted to show that we can, uh, can we can actually do this thing. Yeah. So uh, Nani Gipola, this is my break now. This is the reason why I came to South Africa. Yeah. Finally, this is working. This is it, yeah. We do all the tracks. I write all 14 tracks. And then there are Jamoko and Sadar Wella box back. We stay in box back. Mm. This guy, Santara Saleh, I mix the Pina and everything. So now when we get inside, I don't know, let me just go. Fan is my age, so mm. we practically age mates. Yeah. The manager is older. Yeah. Okay. Then I go to the studio. I'm going to sing the Pina route. Dinsa. Dinsa. Ah, hard drive, what, 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 what? <laughs> so, guys, give well a guy, box back. When I love to my bum phone and fit. These guys, Bansite voice a ha. Yot, what you been so to the food in the day. A water musoto or pella. I agree, cross the regular suit. If I'm not going to be in the middle of the day, I'm going to be in the is complete. I get it. Yeah, no, we've got our album bar by Nelam Dalla from Dalla Isekai, who universal. Modala, I brick, brick, I am not doing that. I'm not getting involved in your nonsense. I was there when this kid, I got a peanut. And you're not going to make me do these things. Be part of this nonsense. Yeah, yeah so that's what happened. The album died. And I, I never understood her angle a halfway king. I can never understand mm. what another person thinks or what they want. Yeah. Uh, I can only look at myself and say, yeah. okay, got yeah. Yeah. As for Motomo, it's just too complicated for me to even get inside that is to understand what they think. Mm. It's yeah. a waste of time. Yeah. And energy. Yeah. God damn dog. So how does that not kill your even before I even get into that, where is this nigga? Yeah, yeah, not. Are they still together with your family? Yes. So do you talk? No. So it's gone deep like that, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, it is, it is. because I don't I can't imagine that type of betrayal. Yeah, Especially from it, someone close like It has that. always been betrayal. I think my, yeah. my, my whole career was always betrayal. Every every everywhere it was just betrayal. So but how do uh, you maintain love for the music? Because mm. there was a time where I think you had quit. Okay. Because Nekisa would create any releases. You weren't that much on social media as well. Mm. I, I'm, I'm trying to understand, Honor, like how do you get back in the studio? Or how do you turn on a keyboard again after you've done all of this stuff? And the, I asked the same question to Vizo. Because Vizo is not a t-shirt. t shirt. One of my only one I You know, look at Casper. Every one of these people, never mm. the visa. He did a whole album. After he had gotten a deal with Gero Raf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always talk to him because tell about how he's totally feel And he's where you are right now. Yeah. He's always on some ah. Because I think over Boni, he like all the way over Bonor. Malay tia, Malay tia Yeah. But I would destroy just because Baba Taku Ipere la Hakuti. Your thing goes South Africa. Do you think that wasted your time or did you think it taught you anything? And how do you stay in love with the music? Yeah, that's also the other question. How can you not love the music, man? <laughs> I, it's, it's, it's not easy to let go of it. I don't think the music... The music, the music is not the problem. Mm. Um, the problem is the people you, you, you connect with. Yeah. And I think most of the time we rush the relationships with people. Yeah. Maybe sometimes because you're looking for something from them and... You don't take your time to really get to know the to understand the person and, yeah. and what their intentions 
are in your life. Mm -hmm. you, we make a lot of those mistakes. Even you can make that mistake. Yeah. So it's important to take your time and and try to the mood. Yeah. So I've never lost love for music because I think uh, it's 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 in me. Yeah. You understand? It's something that is in me. It's something that God blessed me with. Definitely so I can't I can't really uh, run away from it. Ha, what would you have said to my better? You know, rest in peace to my neighbor yeah. man. Um, because I don't think you guys met after the interview. We spoke though. Okay. <laughs> what was that conversation like? <laughs> no, you called me. You called me. He's like, Can I live? Oh, man, this, oh, this uh, DJ will go do my film. Yeah, we're playing football and I'm telling them how great you were, my brother. <laughs> blind, 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 blind. I'm like, thanks, man. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate it. You know, I, I, I had love for the, for the, for the guy. Yeah. Like seriously, because he was a younger brother to me. Mm -hmm. You know, and and uh, I forgave him for what he said because sometimes I think maybe the camera is confused about. <laughs> How <laughs> can I how we feel our own to robe a maca? Give him one idea and understand. I don't know. I keep on it coming and got a fine. Give him a nun, John. Only the body I get to how one. Oh, Don Exodus. Yeah, it happens. You get here, yeah, you're like, ah. Well, I'll be here. I get your hour. Now, the body hour for the camera. Ah, well, fine, but yeah, no. So, if you're not going to go to the ah, no, how's that? How much? The story that changed. Just simple. We are saying the same thing. We're saying the same thing. Like, oh, you know, I heard this, and uh, I, 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 then I went on so, on on Facebook, and I wanted to talk about it. And, yeah, and my, I saw my, that clip. My brother Tips told me, no, don't do that. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do that. Just let it go. Yeah. Um, and then they begin to shop and na na go to my garage. It is what it is. What's your relationship with X Remix Records? Um, X Remix. Yeah. And Kenny, like, how are you guys? We're cool. We're yeah. cool. I, I I don't hold any grudges. Mm. Um, you need to teach me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a okay, man. Like, I will uh, get my revenge. It's mm. like it's stupid, but like. I, I, it's hard for me, especially when betrayal is so close and it's it's so defeating and it's meant to destroy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like and, and I'm not even thinking about guys at home or whatever they're in Baira Neta and Dipina City Balaganna. I don't even think like that. I'm just saying, okay, what in my personality that I do to make these people think that it's okay to do this to me? Well I wanna get and yeah. the very fact that you're here, you're healthy, and you're not speaking ill on them. Mm. And, you know, it's very, very commendable. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It takes a, uh, someone who's, who's grown within themselves and also understands themselves. Mm. For real. I, there's only so much I can do about things that other people other do. Other people, yeah. I said, nah, no, no, no. Yeah. They have to deal with that for the rest of yeah. their lives. Yeah. Um, are, are you recording any new artists right now? Apart from yourself, because uh. I know you've been in the studio. We're going to talk about that yeah, yeah. Uh, later on. Yeah. Are you interested in producing any other artists? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we know why. I'm done. You know what? I, 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 I've just decided to I'm not going to do that. I think I've, I've given so much of myself to people. Mm. And uh, they've never looked at me as someone who contributed to their careers. Mm. It was always someone else. You know, and it's funny because you're like, ah, but why is it difficult for someone to say, Tag did this? Yeah. You know, instead I did something ugly. Yeah, that one is You're deserving. Yeah, yeah, Tag did that, yes. Yeah. But if it's something good, yeah. no one ever says anything. I think people that I've not worked with are the ones that always say, this guy did this. Mm. You know, I remember Lizzie was interviews. Mm. He came in here, he said what he said. Yeah. And, he's, yeah. and he's consistent about that. He goes yeah. on radio, he says the same thing. But I've never worked with Lizzie Bo. Uh, like you know, I've never done that because it takes. Uh, well, not really. A I just spoke to, to him as a kid. Yeah. You can do this thing, and yeah. he carried that, and he 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 is what he is. And mm. to him, I contributed to him being who he is today. Yes. Yeah. But the people I worked with, holding all or battle, Ababu or no tag did this. Name them tag. But I mean, look. Now I don't like unfairness because. 
you were at Dagi's place, and mm. Dagi doesn't usually spend too much time in the studio pressing keys. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's out there in Madagi trying to find other ways of making dough. You know what I mean? You know, buying tickets to go to Uganda. <laughs> but <laughs> who are some of the artists who you were in the studio and working to make their projects? Because Hogo a lot of projects, my king. Yeah. So I don't know if you, not saying they didn't mention you, but name some of the artists that you've worked with so that at least we know, or, you know, our, yeah. our man's was in the background of a whole lot of um, 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 projects. Yeah. I worked with uh, Mingo, mm. uh, but that was in Real Deal Records. Mm -hmm. I worked with um, uh, Cabello's sister. Yeah. Spears. Uh -huh. I okay. produced the album. Yeah, he's got twin sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I worked with Wizards of the Desert. Uh -huh. um, the Pokoja albums, all those things in the body uh, Yeah, stuff. there was there's some tracks that I worked with. Them. Okay. I worked with Ashley Hobbs. Oh, Ashley, I see his name here as well. Yeah. Yes, I sir. worked with Ashley Hobbs. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a brother. Fufa and Ausmig. Yes, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. He's a brother. He's, he's someone I worked with for a long time. But Len, he, he never to. gave me any credit for this. <laughs> no, we're going to bring him on the pod. Though, though, he's, <laughs> though he's a big brother to me, yeah, he never gave me credit for these things. You know what I mean? Like, I sang on the songs. Mm -hmm. And these are the songs that actually made the album what it was. Yeah. You know, but there was no credit. There was nothing. There was just... Uh, and, I, and and some people thought I... Yeah. Because there was never... Horror, no, this guy has featured me, Mopin, and let me call him... So that's that confused a lot of people. Mm. But Ashley is, is a good guy. You mm. understand? He, yeah. he, I think, on his part, that is not a mistake. I don't know, but to me, it's a big mistake. No omission. It's one hell of a lie. Can I? Yeah. And you can lie yeah. by omitting. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, who is this little boy? Mita. Because maybe 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 you feel what if if Kiri alo credit it to her, ya ko ko ene be sati ko na. But, but why I've, is that I've, only here? I've never, though? I've never seen any. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with. Yeah. It's only. 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 When you were writing the song, what were you thinking about? <laughs> Then you go and then, no, I can't say, and you're like, hey, that's you know, I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you didn't write the song, you know, yeah, I can't say. We are a lot of guys, what I've been in a colleague's mama. A lot of caravella and I go, how would you have to say that? They was cut out, no, I can't say, see, most as I got. I don't know if I should, if I, I can ask you about, okay, the project now with mm -hmm. Kalakuta Records. Um, how did you get together with them and why are you releasing music right now? Why are you working on new music right now? Or you've been working on music, but we just didn't know you were until yeah. this year? Yeah, I think I think there was something special about Kalaguta. I met uh, Texan Block 5, Koko mm. Koko Bobo. Oh, okay. Um, for the first time, I think. No, not for the first time. Kral, like Horebu, yeah. Maryland. Texas, uh, Eric Ramko's younger yeah. brother. They, yeah. uh, actually, he co-executive produces a lot of the yeah. uh, Ramko yes. local yes. Uh, yes. projects. Yes. Yeah. yes, yes, yes. And he's co-owner of Kostaring. Yes. If not the owner of Kostaring, yeah. I guess that's like a little show. Yes. But yeah, he's yes. one of the, the big homies when it comes to yeah. distributing music and big yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. So we met then. Elibo and Bon Elibo Presley were there. And it was actually the first time we and Presley was, I <laughs> think, Two years ago. Are you serious? Yeah, I've, I've never, I'd never seen him before. They give him one eye like, low profile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Ah. So okay. Kopanle text. The, the the chemistry was great. Text. I'm like, I'm working on something. Kimuti shase nege spana mo shoni. Yeah. Wa reza ba mo yon tarin mo mo gino nsonso. Just said that straight to my face. I'm like this guy. He doesn't know how to hide it. <laughs> he can't. He just told me this is no. We're not going that route. If yeah. you want to bury your career, go ahead, release it. Um, but if uh, if what I want to get involved, you let me know. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I went home and I'm thinking I'm talking about little nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You know. I th I think I'm one of the best producers in what I do, Afro pop. Yeah. And he tells me these things. Yeah. But that didn't stop me from going back to him. Okay, now I want to hear Horo yeah, Nale. There's something like, there. Yeah. You know, because I believe Horo is a music, musical genius. Yes, he, he, there's something about him that 
we don't really know. Uh, maybe because like, he keeps it a low profile, he Definitely. keeps it to himself, but the guy is a genius. So I went to him and he told me, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to work on your album. Yeah. It may take some time, but we're going to work on it. Yeah. And I gave him that. I said, no, let, let me just see what will happen with this. Yeah. You know, and we started working. We've been working on the album for a long time. And uh, to a point where I just wanted to give up, like, this guy is just taking too long. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, but he had a vision. Yeah. And uh, I respect his vision. And uh, I decided I'm going to wait and see for it. Oh, yeah, guy. Yeah, and so far, I think things are looking up. Okay. You know, and uh, he's actually, you know, pushing things to happen. I love that. Yeah. Like, I've just found something really funny here. Mm. These guys want to did it. Can the Facebook page have on it? Got 2013. I don't know who was holding the page back then. Yari, yeah, look how cool. Yari, classic. Mr. Tag, Silly Mela. Who was writing this thing? <laughs> no doubt. So I, I think before we get towards the end of our interview, mm. everyone wants to understand or how did Silemala come about? You know, because this is probably it's like you may call. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> because I'm sure I hit a Yeah, they don't want that. They just yeah, want they that. just want the song they want. How did you make that? And what year was that? Do you even remember? It was in 2005. Yeah. And it's still following you yeah, around. Yeah. It's it was 19 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Sam. So the way this song came about, the previous night, I'm working on a, on a, on a, on a Maputa Chab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm programming. Maputa Chab is another one. Yeah. That's my jam. I'm programming it, and then I'm singing it. Yeah. Like, okay, this is, this is nice. And I wanted to do that mm. track. So... Pakela Orare uh, Tuli comes in, right? In the morning. They even call her Maputeli Chaba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She yeah, comes you in. Maputeli Chaba. Yeah, she comes in. She's like, you know what? I have an idea. I'm like, okay, what is it? I don't know. We zip in a yo yo I'm like, hey, what about it? I don't know. You should try and do that song. Are you for real? Yeah. You should try and do that song. I think that song is a. I think it can work. You know her family is going to be watching this thing and they got like a couple of, of lawyers. They got some dough. They might sue. Did you give her some royalties? I will you get them Let's go. So, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You see how easy it is for me to say these things? You know, mm. I, I would say it like it, it is. Hey. But it's difficult for people to, 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 to tell the truth, like you know. But it is what it is. Anyway, Fuck. get in the studio. I'm going to try this thing program it i think it took me about um, five hours because it's 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 a very complicated so yeah yeah the key start thing you found the bass yeah you find the, the, the bass came after yeah you found that yeah bass, yeah, yeah it, it came after because the salam rahul these because, keys yes yeah. so that's how easy it was it, did, it didn't take me long and then i started and then singing. the horns yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. then i started singing it and that's how it was born really yeah yeah, and then Maestro jumped on it. He said, I'm taking this, the late Maestro. Yes, sir. Yeah, he said, I know, let's take this thing and give it to the people. And it was really, really uh, instrumental to the growth of that song. Mm. Yeah. That's unbelievable, man. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we're coming to the end of our, our conversation. I want to talk to you about the current state of BW Music. You know, do you have any favorite producers? Can you give me five? Baba Prodi said some about paid. I don't yeah. know if you even know them, or you can give me the artists, or based on the song, maybe I can remember who produced it. But are there any songs that you know you you listen to in the past ten years, or even in the near future, that you are like, damn, these kids are fucking dope. I, I love Tito. Yeah, try Bali. Yeah. I love Tito. Very misunderstood huh? <laughs> because he tells his truth. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, he but does, like. Yeah. They've never heard how amazing yeah, it is. Yeah, no, I love Tito. I think uh, for me, that's the. I don't know any other person actually. I just. Get Tito L. Oh, I just. Uh, yeah, I, just uh, I don't know. You don't know any other songs? Like, as far. What do you think about. Hey, I always ask this. Hensi. Oh, yeah. brilliant musician. Yeah. Brilliant. I what don't do you think he's doing for? right that other people are getting wrong? Uh, because he can't always be the one just up there and the rest are just here. Yeah, I was just space. Every, 
he's yeah, beautiful. I've only heard he's, another he's one FME DJs just the other day. Mm. And then I sent him a voice note. I'm like, God damn, nigga. You know, and he mm. just laughed because... Yeah, I woke up you like right yeah. uh, I, I think blah, it's blah. just in him, you know. Some people don't really struggle to do this thing. Yeah. They don't struggle it's to effortless. do this. Another artistic is Kavinja. I think he's doing a very good job. Yeah, it's Kavinja. Yeah, he's doing with a very good stories. job. Yeah, with those stories. Yeah, with those stories. You should listen to those stories. Um, so yeah, Lizibo is also obviously he's a he's a great musician as well. Those Most of it is Sepolo Sole. Yeah. On the production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then there's this uh young man had a tato tadi. Oh, so it's coming very well. Hey, that's a big close yeah. line for the love of yeah. man. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. All right. So And then, oh, yeah. Hadamang. <coughs> Lioness. Lioness. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This kid's, yeah. This kids are kids like killing it, bro. This kids are like killing it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. They are very passionate. Like the list that you just mentioned, yeah. I can see you on all. You, you, you realize real talent. Mm, mm, because mm. this is not just a poser trying to. Get yeah. into this thing, yeah. Because nothing I know only to tell no one more. I got music. Oh, she loves you know, music. Yeah? She loves music. One more find this a blind, 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 yeah, blind, blind, blind thing. One. Mm, mm. So in the future, oh, you guys have a question. Sol, boots, ah. It's okay. This is your, this is your only chance. Can you know now? I the Larry Silamela. Okay. Boots are home. What? Which one? 2013. 2013, that's when you were going punk over this. But like with the future though, with the project that's coming up, I mean, what other line of business are you into? You Were you are you trying to do merchandising? Or line of business here we did a how big are you on the hotel? And nah, you just do music? Nah, I just, I just well. do music. You just but do I like I'm, I'm, uh, I'd like to, 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 to get involved in more more quality, hey. um, the drama and all those things. That's yeah. what I want to do because I'm a good. I want to believe I'm a good writer. Yes, you are. Um, so why not, you know, get involved more in the drama and all That's yeah. that's where, because growing up, that's what I used to do. Yeah. You know, and I've I've won a couple of gigs in Orapa doing the the story about first aid. What what yeah. what what act and Yes, sir. But I never took it serious. I just thought, ah, it's just right here. I'm just a kid who knows how to put things together. Yeah. So ebe kota mo di pini ya no. So but wangu habari zaidi pina barno. But this guy can write yes, a very nice story. Yes, sir. So I think that's where it's heading to now. Awesome stuff. Yeah. You love a marriage? How long have you been married? Two years now. Yeah, 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 man, you found me. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a pleasure always to see you. Yeah. Um, like you oh, postpone the interview here or and you are always gracious enough um, to to give us an ear. Yeah. 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 Um, we, we are really, really uh, proud of, you know, the, the, the music that you've brought out and also the, the man that you are, man. Like, yeah. It's very easy to be angry at everyone else uh, and not look within. So, yeah. you know, I think that's a lesson to a lot of us who are watching this today. Mm, so, mm. big up yourself. Thanks Everybody give me. it up for Mr. Tech. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of our conversation. We will see you again. Well, no. We're actually um, about to get into getting healthy with Dr. Rukara. We're talking about prostate cancer. And, uh, yeah, man, that was Mr. Tag. And, uh, yeah. Check you on the flip side. Oh, and before that, remember, we're going to be at the Molapo Piazza uh, at uh, nine at 6 p.m. until 9 p.m. on this Friday. So make sure that you go over there. Free entry. We're going to be having some young hip-hop artists and aerosol artists and, and, and dancers. Uh, we'll have Bovis of You. We'll have Bodezi. We'll have a couple of people from America also, Babante Baba Facilitator, to come and, and have a, a great time. So young people, come through 6 until 9 on a Friday. Let's check Dr. Rukar. Different identities. Podcast with BSCAR. No doubt you're still on the booty cast. And uh, yeah, this is the part of the show where we get healthy uh, with our resident, uh, our doctor, uh, who's also a rheumatologist, uh, Dr. Rukara. And she's in the house today. Hello, Ma. How are you? Good, thank you. Yeah, you like the new scenery? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, um, the month of um, November. I've always thought like when people call it Movember, it's only for people with mustaches because guys grow it out. So I never really cared for it, you know. But it's about all men, isn't it? 
Yes. Yeah. So, what do you know about the, the so I Movember? Think Movember uh, started in 2003. Yeah. It was started by a group of Australian men who decided to grow their moustaches just mm. so that they could raise awareness for male-related issues, uh, namely prostate cancer as well as depression. Oh. Yes. Right, and those are the ones that are more predominant, like than more dominant than any other th- uh, others of recent thought, especially while depression, but. Prostate cancer, you know, I'm selfish. I always talk about things that are close to like my age and stuff. I want to talk about prostate cancer because, you know, as you grow older, people tell you that you're getting closer and closer to being, you know, um, I guess affected by it, especially as a man. Can you briefly explain what prostate cancer is and who is most at risk? So prostate cancer definitely only affects males because... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> because men have a prostate. Yeah. And I think what I found fascinating is that many men don't actually know what the prostate gland is or where it is in their body. Yeah. So I think it's important to Google, find out exactly where the prostate gland is located and what it is. Okay. So prostate gland is one of the organs that is found in males, just sits that sits under the bladder. Okay. And it, it also forms part of the path where urine travels from the bladder into the urethra and comes out. Okay. So prostate cancer is basically cancer involving that organ and when we know what cancer is it's basically when cells in your body no longer uh, start multiplying uncontrollably Mm. and then lead to symptoms as well as uh, death yeah i I get scared the more we talk about this because yo man i I know some people who have passed away because of prostate cancer and it's never really a good thing people are, are you know are spoken about peeing on themselves um, sometimes, and just not being able to hold that 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 pee. Um, can you give us some of the most common symptoms, or is that the most common symptom? So I and, think, and, and which yeah. stage um, do these typically appear? So m- most prostate cancer, fortunately, is diagnosed in the asymptomatic, meaning a person doesn't actually have symptoms to suggest prostate cancer, which is why screening is important and why this month is important to raise awareness so that males who are at risk are able to go out and be screened so that they know whether they may have symptoms. So the majority of the patients are actually caught when the disease is local, so it's asymptomatic. But rarely patients can present with symptoms such as uh, blood in urine, which we call hematuria. They can also present with blood in their semen. So after ejaculation, if you notice there's blood, that can also be a symptom. But commonly, depending on the site where the cancer is growing, you can have what are called bladder outlet obstruction symptoms. So this is difficulty in passing urine. Maybe the pressure normally used to pass urine and it would go far, but now it's dribbling. Yeah. Uh, what we call urgency, where you are no level, when you now want to pass urine, you can't hold it. You immediately have to go to the toilet. Yeah. What we call nocturia is waking up frequently at night to go to the toilet. Incomplete emptying, where you've gone to the toilet, but you still feel like you need to empty more. Yeah. So these are some of the symptoms that a patient can present with. And then also about 6% of the patients present when the disease has already spread, which we call metastasis. And commonly it spreads to the bones. So they can present with bone pain. They can present with fractures of the spine as well as compression of the spinal cord, even leading to paralysis. So just depending on where the disease is picked up, the symptoms can vary. She's she scaring yeah. me, doc. Already. Yeah. <laughs> are there any preventative measures like you can take to lower your risks? And what are the things that can actually get you in a position where you do um, get prostate cancer? So the risk factors for prostate cancer are quite a lot. So one of the most uh, important one is genetic. So if you've got a genetic predisposition of developing cancer, no matter what you do, the genes are there. And the common ones are the similar ones that are responsible for breast cancer in women. So the BRCA1, BRCA2 genes. And then also if you've got a family history of prostate cancer. So if you've got a first degree relative, so if it's your father or a brother who developed prostate cancer, your chance are much higher as well. The other thing is ethnicity. So unfortunately, black Africans are at higher risk compared to other ethnicities. Why? Uh, genetics. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> and then the we also we have, have uh, environmental things. So uh, exposure to certain chemicals, like most cancers, can predispose you to getting prostate cancer. Obesity, so being overweight, as well as hormones, because most of them can be driven by high testosterone levels. So if you've got those, uh, those can be risk factors. And then um, 
there are some other things that have been associated but not hard and fast. So how can we prevent or what preventative methods? And then another important one is diet. Mm. So diet high in fat, so animal fats and certain other chemicals, uh, certain other foods have been associated and linked with prostate cancer. So how does one prevent it? So number one, importantly, it's screening. So if you fall in the high risk category, so if you've got a family history, uh, well, black people, like we said, present more with aggressive type of cancer and a higher risk. So those are all the things that will then need you to screen early for the disease. There isn't something per se you can take yeah. or say, let me do this or, or do that, that can prevent the risk uh, of getting prostate cancer. And uh, let's talk about like impact on, on like um, the quality of life. I think that's what I'm always wondering when it comes to uh, such diseases is that, you know, um, h how, imp how, how much can it impact your life if it goes unscreened and it goes untreated? So I think once you have a diagnosis of cancer already, being told you've got cancer affects you psychosocially, meaning there's a lot of anxiety and fear associated with the diagnosis, first and foremost. Uh, and like I said, depending on at what stage you fall in the disease, you can have the disease giving you no symptoms whatsoever and be fine, mm -hmm. but you can also have different things that affect quality of life. And I think the most... Uh, the problem as well, even when it comes to the treatment, the side effects of the different treatment modalities can affect quality of life. Mm -hmm. So, for example, many men end up with issues of erectile and sexual dysfunction as a result of the disease or treatment. They end up with uh, complications from the treatment that can affect the bowel or uh, difficulty in passing urine and incontinence that can result from that. So it becomes a very holistically, it affects the quality of life. Yeah. Once you have a diagnosis of prostate cancer, yeah. And, and for, for men over the age of 50, um, is, do you think there's enough awareness, especially in Botswana, about, you know, uh, screening and, you know, the dangers of not taking care of yourself? Do you think there's enough word out there about prostate cancer as compared to, let's say, things like circumcision, which is was everywhere and, you know, they're not given that much importance. Do you think there's enough awareness out there? So I think what that's can be, yeah. what can we do more? So I think that's why the month of November is important yeah. to raise awareness. And I think many medical facilities, laboratories are actually offering free PSA, which is a test that we do to screen for prostate cancer. So it stands for prostate specific antigen. Mm. So when this level of this in your blood is elevated, then you need to go and be checked out to see whether there's any risk or actually you have developed prostate cancer. So I think awareness is increasing over the years and that's why the diagnosis of the cancer has also increased and why we're able to pick up the disease earlier. And the earlier you pick it up, the better the outcome. So your five year mortality or survival is actually 98% for mm. those who are picked up early. But once you're picked up late, when you're now stage four, that means the disease has spread, the, the risk of death also escalates. So the earlier you're diagnosed, the better your outcomes. And yeah. how can we help our loved ones? I mean, if you have a loved one um, who has prostate cancer, what are some of the advice that you can give people who, are, who have to be caregivers to, to people who are going through it? So I think a lot of counseling needs to be done for the patients who develop prostate cancer. And I think the, the take home is not, not one shoe fits every patient. Mm -hmm. So you find that most people with prostate cancer, they can have a less aggressive form. And what they used to tell us was that most people die with prostate cancer and not from prostate cancer. Mm. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So you, you may have prostate cancer, but it might not actually be the cause of your death. Yeah. You die with it. So post-mortem, they check and find a lot of elderly men mm. actually had prostate cancer, but it wasn't the cause of death. Yeah. But unfortunately, in our setting with Africans, they get more aggressive cancer. So you find it happens in younger patients and it's more aggressive, so it's more likely to cause death. Mm. So that's where the patients who have it need to be supported in terms of uh, counseling for them to cope with the diagnosis to cope with the treatment like I say the treatment itself can also affect your quality of life but now it becomes a balance between the risk of death versus the risk of providing more uh, a better outcome in terms of the disease management yeah. awesome stuff Dr. Rukara thank you so so much and I'm guessing we're going to be focusing more, mostly on, on these type of diseases because it is the month of November. I'll try to grow a mustache. Um, it's impossible. But, you know, <laughs> a brother can try. But thank you so, so much, as usual, for joining us. And um, 
for, where, where can we get a hold of you and uh, where are you stationed? So we are based at Rumor Med Clinic in MRI Block 7. All right. Cool stuff. Always easy to find on your way to BTV from Oditani. It's right on your left. Thank you so, so much. And uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Another episode of Pudicast done. We'll see you again next week. We out it. Peace. Okay. Different identities. Podcast with PSCAR.